Hello everyone! So today I'm going to be replicating this pajama dress that my mom got from Ross. Instead of a v-neck, we're going to turn it into a scoop neck. And it's also called a kaftan or a kanzu. If you're East African, you already know what this is. So how are you going to measure this? Is You're going to cut two giant rectangles and you're going to measure your shoulders, add three inches, and measure your length, subtract two inches. The way that you get the neckline is you're going to get a t-shirt and we're going to cut the neckline based off of a t-shirt. Now you want to serge or zigzag stitch the sides and the shoulders. Once you do that, we're just going to hem the sides, only the sides. We're not going to touch the shoulders. Just hem the sides all the way down for both sides and both pieces of fabric. All right, once the sides are hemmed, as you can see here, it looks super clean because of the serger. What you wanna do is you wanna put the fabrics on top of each other, um, the right ways facing each other like this. Okay, once we do that, we're gonna sew the shoulders together. All right, once everything is sewn, you're gonna flip it on the right side. You're gonna go down 10 inches to leave room for the armhole and then you're gonna go to the side three. So down 10 to the side three, so all the way down, and then you're not gonna sew all the way down to the bottom, you're gonna go up five inches from that bottom part. So I'll show you right here. So as we could see, we have the armhole, 10 inches to the side three, all the way down, and then I left five inch room at the bottom. And then you're just gonna sew on top of the fabric, just like this, to create this kind of waterfall effect. I don't know what you call this, but it creates kind of like a very flowy effect. And make sure you are surging from the top part to the bottom part. Alrighty, so it should look like this now. And the last thing we have to do is the neck and the hem at the bottom. And as we could see here, we have the sleeve room. That's why I told you to sew 10 inches down from the shoulder so you have room for your sleeves. So now we just need to finish the neck and the hem. I use bias tape for the neck because I did not have time to, or patience to hem it, to be honest. But yeah, so make sure you're hemming the bottom as well. And we are finished. All I have to do is just press the neckline. I just used like bias tape that I got from Walmart. By the way, this fabric is from Hobby Lobby. And here we go, the finished product. As we could see, we got the sleeves, we got the neck, we got everything done. And if you wanted to, like I said before, you could put something on the waist to make it look more snatched. But honestly, if it's just for pajama, you don't really have to. But yeah, this is the final product.